freedom versus tyranny, constancy and change, volunteerism versus work for profit, history and fiction. For a short story, Rip Van Winkle is possessed by some powerful themes. Washington Irving conveys the theme of freedom versus tyranny throughout the story. Rip Van Winkle seeks nothing more than the freedom to be his kind, simple self and to live the idle life he wants to live. The most obvious tyrannical force constraining Rip's freedom is his wife, as she <sighs> nags him constantly and ferociously to work on their farm and support his family. Rip escapes her forms of tyranny by sitting and chatting with his friends, fishing in the Hudson River, or hunting in the Catskill Mountains. Rip rarely thinks about politics. Irving mentions that the early villagers are subjects of King George III, but that fact seems totally immaterial to their lives. So while other colonists may have viewed British dominion as tyranny, the characters in the beginning of the story never refer to it that way. Neither domestic nor civic responsibilities intrude on Rip's lifelong freedom. Irving develops the theme of constancy and change through the actions of his protagonist, who is the embodiment of constancy. Regardless of the vast changes that occur around him, he remains the same. He represents a kind of romantic figure of purity and freedom that persists no matter what upheavals are going on around him. The village itself represents dramatic change over time. The restful inn that Rip and his friends used to gather at becomes a bustling hotel. Not only is the village changed physically, but the nature of the inhabitants seems altered. The sleepy village of the old days is contrasted sharply with the crowded, politics-obsessed town of two decades huh? later. Volunteerism versus work for profit is a theme close to Rip Van Winkle's heart. He's happy to work, but only when he volunteers his labor to others. He does not willingly work oh. for his own or his family's profit or benefit. Though he freely helps his neighbors, he refuses to farm his own land that, if well tended, might yield a profit and a living for his family. Rip is the embodiment of early colonial tradition and its simple way of life before an increasingly intense focus on work for money and profit became a hallmark of the United States. History and fiction is a theme that opens and closes the narrative, with the elaborate promise of Irving's made-up narrator, Diedrich Knickerbocker, that the story represents historical fact. Irving wrote both fiction and well-researched history, and in Rip Van Winkle, he explores the divide between fact and fiction and the location of truth in both. He also examines the value of fiction as a complement to historical fact, 